Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for what do they secretly want to tell you? So we're going to talk about what do they secretly want to tell you? What do they want to say to you? Um, and I'm also going to um, ask a yes or no question. So stick with me to the end and I'll answer a question for you guys. So whatever you want to know. And also, my darlings, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you to my members. And if you'd like a person reading me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And also, if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. So what are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about what does your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you want to know about, what do they secretly want to tell you? So let's find out. What does Aries love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does Aries love interest secretly want to tell Aries? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's take a look, Aries. So we're starting out with the strength card. The strength card shows me, it seems like, for me, it feels like there is a lack of confidence or strength here because it's something to do with the past. Someone does want to get someone's attention, though. It's like almost like they're trying to reach out. They're trying to, to get a hold of someone here, but it's just like, okay, should I? Should I? There's almost a hesitation here, I feel like, in the energy. Let's keep going. Six of Pentacles shows me that... Something about this situation, this person feels like there's not uh, an equal amount of time or effort being put into the connection. Why do I say that? Because you see how the Six of Pentacles energy, it's like this person's giving so much to this other person and this other person's like, hey, did you forget about me? You see, and then if we look here, it's like this lion here is like, wanting to connect with the other person, but the other person has a hesitation there in connecting. You see that? And you go to the next scene here, and it's like, I'm giving all my time on my effort over here, but I'm not paying attention to this other situation over here. So it's like almost like your person's like, I don't know if they're going to accept what I have to offer. And if you come here, this is the person here, okay? So it's like, I don't know if they're going to accept what I have to offer here, because obviously they have other obligations, other things going on here. And it's like, I don't know if they're just, they're just bored with me, or if I've missed some kind of opportunity, or something about the situation they feel like you're not going to accept about it, okay? This is representing strength. Sixes represent healing, recovery, and love. And fours represent stability and stableness. So, and you can see how this person sitting next to the tree Trees is a symbol of healing and recovery, right? So we, and we have all this growth here, but it's like this person's like, I don't know if I missed some kind of opportunity, if I missed something about this situation. It's like every time I'm, I want them to like spend time with me, be there for me. I just feel like I'm not getting enough of their time. And I don't know if I have the confidence here or the courage or strength here. So I want to just get a little, also some information from some of the Oracle cards here to get a little bit more information. What does Aries love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? What does Aries love interest secretly want to tell Aries? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's go further. Yeah, see, there's a time. There's like a lack of time. This person feels like they're running out of time. Timing seems to be a factor here. There's concerns. There's something hidden about the situation. This person also does feel like the grass isn't greener on the other side. They're definitely aware of that, okay? And we can go down the layer here. Wow, we got the Devil card. The Knight of Pentacles. We got the Hierophant. The Eight of Cups, the Six of Cups, and we have the Four of Swords. So already I can see with this Devil card energy that this person has strong desires for you. Like, they're deeply attached, okay? Strongly attached. You see there's a chain attaching these two people together. 
and there is an obsessive energy to this person. I'm going to clarify that further when we go a little bit further in because I want to see exactly what this devil card is specifying. But we can see this person is overanalyzing their actions. You see, I get that sense also up here with the strength card. It's like they're afraid in, in a way, like they're lacking the confidence in the connection because they feel like something about it is not an equal give and take and like they're missing an opportunity or, or they're, they're not, they feel like they're, uh, you're, not, you're not paying attention to them somehow. And there's a, like an obsessive energy in them overanalyzing their actions. This person does want to tell you they want to commit to you. If you're not married to this person or they're not married, they want to commit here because we see that the Hierophant card is here. And that is a card of marriage or commitment, okay, a long-term commitment or something traditional about it. But let's go further. Let's get more information. Um, I want to clarify this, this, these cards up here. What does Aries love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what does Aries love interest secretly want to tell Aries? Show me the cards they need to see. Show me the cards they need to see. What's the strength card? So this is a person, all right, so this person right here for the gypsy can represent a person who's single and available to pursue or is like kind of like the Knight of Cups energy. It's like, I'm trying to do stuff for you. I'm trying to be romantic. I want you to notice me. I want you to see me kind of energy. We see that there's a lack of equal, equal give and take, they feel like, because maybe of a child or a new person. Maybe they're concerned that there's a new person in your life, okay? Um, or maybe there is a concern that, that, that maybe they need to be a little bit more carefree, right? A little bit more playful, a little bit more joyful. That also can be the child card energy. This person is concerned because of the fact that maybe they're feeling like they're going to miss some kind of opportunity because of memories of the past or someone from the past or someone's mourning someone because we see the widower card there. And also interesting enough, the thing that stands out in my intuition is over here. It looks to me like a one. It's like almost like maybe they're concerned that they're not the first choice. Okay, let's go further. All right, I'm going to move this out of the way. Let's go further here. This is the card of being used, feeling foolish, like, you know, that kind of energy. Again, single and available to pursue. Yeah, there's the co commitment card, the wife card's coming out. A lot of overanalyzing about a commitment or because someone was already committed. They have strong desires to commit here, okay? So let's read it as a whole so far. Single and available to pursue. I want to be romantic with you. Uh, we see something to do with a child, fresh start, new opportunity. I'm mourning some things from the past, and um, I need you to help me with something because that can be the servant card, or I need you to be single and available to pursue so I can have this, this commitment. I have strong desires for a commitment because um, it's looking like the, the desires for this person is a commitment, okay? We see the wife card there. Now, it's not saying it could stand for a wife, but for some of you, it's just saying that they see you as the type they want to commit to, okay? So I want to go down the layer here, and then we're going to go here and look at this as well. But so far, I can see this person's like, I don't know if I'm running out of time. Is this person going to walk away from me? I know the grass isn't greener on the other side because they make me happy. There's so much potential here for me, for my happiness with this person. That's what they're seeing. Okay. What does Aries love at Chris, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? What does Aries love and secretly want to tell Aries? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Going further. I've been thinking about this very deeply. I want to gain some kind of knowledge about your feelings for me. I really want to make a power move and assert myself. I know there's a lot of regrets, a lot of things from the past, and there's concerns about some kind of new love connection or the offer of love to you. They've been thinking about you a lot, and you can see that a lot with the devil card energy, and then we also have the four swords going on there. There's concerns that they're going to be left out in the cold somehow, okay? That you're going to walk away for someone from the past or because of memories of the past. They keep thinking about you, contemplating this situation, 
Okay. Going further, they're concerned about being foolish. They want to make a power move here. They do want to be with you. Again, we're seeing that this person wants to be with you. They want to apologize and reconcile, and they're stressing and worrying, and they do feel like there's a deeper connection here. Okay? So if we go through this, through this all the way. I don't want to run out of time, and you walk away from me. I've been thinking and dreaming about you. I know the grass isn't greener on the other side. You make me so happy. But I don't want to have a sense of loss here in the connection. Five of Pentacles kind of energy. So then going further down the line here, and then I want to find out what they want to say. So I've been isolated and separated. I've been thinking about this. Uh, I want to gain knowledge. I have feelings for you. I want to make a power move. I regret this situation. Do you have somebody that you love, a new person in your life? I want to apologize. I'm stressing. I'm trying to use my intuition. I feel like we're deeply connected somehow. The bottom of the deck. Let's see. See, they have so much uncertainty where they stand with you. They have a lot of chemistry and passion for you. There's concerns about some kind of infringing party uh, or an ex with a commitment to engage your marriage. They're at a crossroads. They want timing to be right for them. We can see single and available to pursue, right? These are both single people here. And we see, I, I don't want to be foolish. I don't want this to be transactional. We see a new situation, a fresh start. We see a commitment, a power move. There's memories of the past, regrets about the past, and mourning stuff to view with the past. I have strong desires to be with you. Going further, I'm trying to find that strength, courage, or confidence. I have strong desires. I'm obsessed with you. I don't want to walk away because there's a lack of equal give and take. I keep overanalyzing this because of memories of the past or something to do with the past. I, I'm concerned I'm going to miss an opportunity because of marriage, long-term commitment. I keep thinking about you. So what do they want to say to you? What do they want to say to you? What do they want to say? Let's see. What does Aries love interest the one here for the one on? What does Aries love interest want to say to Aries? Show me cards you need. See me. Show me cards I need to see. What do they want to say? I want to tell you how I feel. You can see they have feelings, right? You speak to me through music. So obviously they're thinking about you a lot, and when the music plays, there's like songs that remind them of you. I bury myself in work to forget you. So it's like they try to keep themselves busy so they can't think about you so much. I hope you can forgive me one day. I lost myself for a while. I feel you even though we are apart. So this person feels very deeply connected, strongly connected to you. Let's see what else they want to say. What else does Aries love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about? What else does Aries love interest secretly want to say to them? They haven't said to them. Show my cards I need to see. Show my cards I need to see. So they want to talk to you about taking care of you, giving you some kind of money, maybe providing you with money, or saying you have value in their life, or they feel very lucky to have you. Wow, this person sees you as somebody that's a twin flame, a spiritual alignment. Yeah, then we got the soulmate again. We see something to do with money and finance, and we see a relationship, and we see a great connection relationship. There's been some avoidance going on with this person because of stuff to do with the past. They want to give to this destiny because they feel like you're a part of their destiny. It looks like they do want a serious relationship with you and a long-term commitment, or they want to blend families together. We see family card coming out. Okay, so let's get some advice to you guys, and I'm going to do a yes or no question for you. Can I have some advice for my Aries when it comes to their love interest, the highest, best good for the best possible outcome for them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's see. So it's saying that you can't dwell on the bad things that happen and you have to let go of those heavy burdens. You can't keep pairing them around, these grudges and things. It's time to let those things go. And we are moving into a new year, guys. So when moving into a new year, it is good to release some of those emotional things that you've been hanging on to. Spirit is saying, though, you're about to be in awe and wonder about your situation. So 
It says the wonderful thing to be in a state of wonder. And when I'm in good audience to my life, my life becomes better and better. Theater. So it's saying enjoy the show. And that it's time to have that sense of peace and untroubled heart here. So it's saying it's time to let go of some of the old things that you've been holding on to, okay? Some of these emotional things that have been holding you up. Believe me, I can speak on experience of this, okay? I definitely had a situation where I felt like I could not forgive that person, okay? And I just, I had a person who gave me advice one day. This is years ago. I had a person gave me advice one day, and they're like, look, it's the only person that's hurting is you. And you're like, just forgive that person. And you know what I did? And for me, I'm, I'm very intuitive. I can feel energy. And I literally, I'm telling you guys, it definitely felt like there was baggage there, emotional baggage. It felt like it was literally lifted off of me. And it, and it floated away. I'm telling you, it does help. And I felt so much better when I did that. I honestly just said, you know what? I forgive myself. I forgive that person. And I just truly let it go, right? And once you do that, you're gonna, Spirit's like, wow, you're about to be in wonder and all. You're going to enjoy the show. And look at this peaceful energy here. Look at that. Giving to this personal growth and knowing your value and your worth. Okay, so let's ask this yes or no question for you guys, whatever that may be. Let's find out. So, when it comes to my Aries, whatever their question is, I need a yes or no. Positive card for yes, negative card for no. Whatever their question is, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Two. See. All right, Aries, let's see. Well, at this time, I would say with a five of wands energy, whatever that question is, it would have to be no. And the reason is, is because it's something to do with competition, arguments, fights, some kind of uh, dispute here, some kind of change also, five card energy. But it's saying once this is over with, you're going to get some good news here with the Page of Pentacles energy, okay? We see that there is some kind of walking away, some kind of leaving of a situation, some kind of avoidance going on here. So five tells me some kind of change or challenge, okay? And there's some kind of potential or something to do with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, okay? Or something to do with good news here or messages coming in about somebody who's walking away, leaving a situation or avoiding a situation. Something has to first come to a completion here. Tens cards talk about some kind of completing of a tough cycle. And once that happened, it looks like it's going to be very optimistic and happy. But the timing is not right as of yet, but the timing will turn in your favor. So don't worry. Stay optimistic about this, okay? Something has to be completed first. It's because of some arguments, fights, disputes, or something really big has to change here, okay? But you do have potential here for good news. It's just the timing isn't right as of yet. All right, my beautiful Aries. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in another date or two. There's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now. And let me know if you claim this reading, if this resonates with you, if you feel comfortable sharing your situation with me. I love to hear from you guys. I do read my comments. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.